So you're recording vocals in Ableton, and something's not sounding right. Your voice feels delayed, doubled, phasing, or just late in your headphones. Well, don't worry, because I'm sharing three ways to fix latency in Ableton for recording vocals or audio. This tutorial is divided into a basic solution, advanced solution, and expensive solution to your latency problems in Ableton. So let's break it down. Kara's my vocalist for this session, and she's recording through the Austrian Audio OC818, which is one of the best vocal mics you can get for around $1,000. Hey Kara, how's it sounding in your headphones? Check, 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 check one, two. two. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a little, little bit of latency. latency. Is, there is there anything you can do, do to fix it? it? So let's fix this latency with my basic solution. First, open your Ableton settings using the keyboard shortcut Command Comma. Navigate to the Audio tab, go to Buffer Size, and choose the lowest number your computer can handle, like 32 or 64. M1 and M4 Apple computers can usually handle 32, but if you're on an older machine and your audio sounds like this, then you should probably choose 64. Now that our playback is smooth, create an audio track, select your input, and choose Auto for your input monitoring. That way you hear yourself through whatever plugins or processing you add down here at the bottom. Let's do a little snap test to hear if the latency is improving. Reducing the buffer size definitely helped, but it's still not perfect yet. Any plugins on your master bus are guaranteed latency, no matter how fast your computer is. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this clipper and limiter and then add them back later when I mix. Now let's do another snap test to hear the difference. Much better. Hey Kara, how does your headphone mix sound now? Hello, hello, hello. Check one, two. Okay, Th this is getting better. To get rid of those last few milliseconds of latency, let's freeze and flatten all the channels in our beat. Or just use freeze tracks, so you can defrost them later and edit your work. But if you're all done producing, just freeze and flatten everything to audio. Check one, two. Okay, that felt a lot better. And you're ready to record. When I walk on the street, all eyes on me. I'm looking like who you wanna be. When I bring that heat, like a hundred degrees, like a hot, like a sauna. Coming out for the summer B-O-S-S-S-S boss Caption I'll talk that talk My preferred headphone mix is just auto-tune If your singer prefers it Using classic mode for low latency Light compression with makeup gain And a little reverb using a low mix percentage And boom! You've got my basic low latency solution for recording audio in Ableton. And of course, after your recording session is done, just swap out your headphone mix preset with your favorite vocal chain for mixing, like Lead Vocal Sauce from Holoops.com. Like a hundred degrees, make a hot like a sauna, coming out for the summer. But now, let's kick it up a notch with my advanced solution for latency in Ableton. I call this solution advanced because it combines features from both your audio interface and Ableton simultaneously. You also don't need to delete your mastering plugins, freeze tracks, or lower your buffer size like before, which is extra convenient. So let's break it down. I'm using a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 4th Gen for this example, but pretty much every audio interface that's dropped in the past 10 years has a button or feature or app for direct input monitoring. Enable input monitoring to send a copy of your mic's dry input signal straight to your headphones without any plug-in processing, Ableton settings, or perceivable latency getting in the way. <clears throat> I gotta like that. I gotta like. I gotta like that. I gotta like that. That. You'll know it's working correctly when you can already hear yourself dry in your headphones before you've even opened Ableton. It's almost like turning your audio interface into a basic little audio mixer. Sometimes direct monitoring sounds a little quiet, so just turn up your headphones a little bit to compensate. But I know not everybody likes a dry mix in their headphones when they perform. So let's open up Ableton and go in and add some sauce to this headphone mix. First, switch input monitoring on your audio track from auto to off. Remember, we can already hear our dry, latency-free signal, so we don't need it getting doubled. Press Command-T to create another audio track, and press Command-R to rename it Reverb. Drop a stock reverb from Ableton's audio effects onto the reverb channel, increase the mix to 100%, and adjust the decay time to match the vibe of your song. 
reduce the reverb channel about minus 10 dB in volume so it sits behind your dry vocals in your headphone mix. Then switch the reverb channel's input monitoring to in and reduce your DOS output about minus 10 to avoid your beat overpowering your headphone mix. Now we're hearing a combination of dry, latency-free direct monitoring mixed with our DAW's stock reverb. Then press the Arm for Record button on your vocal track, but not on your reverb track. This way, Ableton records your dry signal while your singer hears a saucy reverb in their headphone mix. When I walk on the street, all eyes on me, I'm looking like who you want to be. Okay. That sounded so much better. This advanced solution is perfect for when all you need is a little bit of reverb to get inspired. And this yellow reverb track can just get deleted when you're done singing. And that's my advanced solution for avoiding latency in Ableton. But what if your vocalist needs to hear themselves through other effects like autotune, EQ, compression, de-essing, maybe all of them at the same time? Well, that leads us to our expensive solution. If you have the budget, these are the best three options. First is getting a really fast computer. The fastest computer for music production that I've used as of today is the M4 Max MacBook Pro and the M4 Mac Mini that just released in late 2024. And the other two solutions are audio interfaces with built-in DSP. The most popular is Apollo X by Universal Audio, but Antelope Audio also has some similar products with similar functionality. I'm more experienced with Apollo, as I've been a user for nearly 10 years. But these type of audio interfaces are unique because they feature powerful DSP computer chips built in that make your interface behave kind of like a second computer just for your headphone mix. All your favorite plugins like Autotune, classic preamp emulations, compressors, channel strips, and more with zero perceivable latency. I've got my Universal Audio Apollo second gen connected, so I always use the included console app while I record. Control your reverb levels here and adjust your reverb plugin settings here. And just like in my previous advanced solution, you'll never need to worry about deleting your master chain, freezing tracks, or adjusting your buffer size settings when you record because your perfect headphone mix is always running in the background in a separate app. So there you have my basic, advanced, and expensive solutions for your latency in Ableton. Let us know in the comments below which approach works best for you and your studio setup, and I'll catch you guys next time in another video.